They've got the Sedins, and then they're kind of looking at the other three to the, for that depth, the four-line league it is right now, the NHL. Alex Burroughs can't catch it. Now it's swung to the net by Bo Horvat, and it's in the net, and the Canucks have taken the lead. Might have been Alex Burroughs, the last man to touch it, but they punch it home, and the Canucks lead 1-0. Yeah, good call there. That's exactly what they did, Randy. They punched it home. Looks like an innocent-looking play, but the puck is bobbling. This is the third line for Vancouver. They just fire the puck towards the net, take their chances, and there's a loose puck. Couple guys right there. Stalock's diving across the crease, and that might have gone in off of Dylan Skisson just missed. Now Irwin again, placing it behind the net for Thornton. Thornton checked back there and knocked down back there by Ryan Stanton. Here's Irwin. He'll take his time, wrist it to the net, and it's caught by Miller. California flavor in the Sharks' schedule here late in the year. Sharks will be in Anaheim tomorrow. They'll go there right after this game tonight. So two games with Anaheim and a game in L.A. all within a span of four games total as Miller will freeze it again for a face-off. R here in December as Dorsa tries to get it to the net. Dylan battling Horvat. This was the Canuck line that got them on the board a few minutes ago. From the point of shot, and Stalock trying to find it. Well, one goal in his last nine games. Here's Pavelski on a breakaway. Skates in, he's pulled down. This ought to be a penalty shot. It will be. You can see Pavelski take off, loves the puck, kicks it up to himself. He's got body position, and he gets pulled down. Pavelski against Ryan Miller here on the penalty shot. And he hit the post. And it's still 1-0 Vancouver. And get around the defenseman Spisa cannot. But the Canucks, trouble getting out of their end. Carlson working the boards with Shepard against Matthias. Shepard to the point, Burns with that quick release. And it's caught by Miller. Joe Thornton's got it and gives it ahead to Pavelski and on back to Brent Burns. Ten goals for Burns from the blue line. He leads all Sharks team in. Now he's got to hustle back as Yannick Hansen takes his shot. And Stalock down on his knees to make the save. 2010 Olympics up in Vancouver. Slap shot and a hard one by Spisa and Stalock bites it off. Against LA who beat them in seven games last year. That's what one of the you know, big differences in that series was. Up down the middle. Sharks trying to get things tied up here in the first period. And a tip shot from Burns saved by Miller. So gives to Shepard. He's tripped up. He goes on and Burns sends it back across for Nieto. Shepard again challenging the defenseman. Spees of the backhander and Miller got enough of it. Of New Westminster, a suburb of Vancouver. He was surrounded by the Canucks traveling media today. They tend to gravitate to their own. British Columbians, that is. Stanton a shot and that's saved by Stalock. The draw would be good, and Kowalski still battling. It comes out front. Now Burns gets it settled. They get it off to the side. Marlowe's one-timer. Miller the save, and the Canucks get the clear. On Bo Horvat's goal, 3.08 into the game. Joe Pavelski hitting the post on a penalty shot after that. Now the Sharks back on the power play. As Thornton's out of the box, Sedin's still in. Two nights ago to San Jose, they won all the important face-offs. It seemed like all night long they won the power play face-off, penalty killing face-offs, key moments. Well, they've got it here as Pavelski sends it to Burns. Now Couture with the shot. Miller the save, no rebound to Vlasic. And that's tipped high off the glass behind Miller. Carlson chips it for Goodrow. Braun keeps it in. And he throws one at the net to change direction, and Miller recovered to make the save. For to Couture, but the pass behind him. He'll rim it around to Thornton's side of the ice. Joe settling it on his stick through the leg pass for Pavelski. In front. Couture there. First shot denied, then he's knocked down and out of the way. Marlowe trying to get to it, but it's cleared by Bieksa. First intermission about using the power play to get things going. And he had the best look there on, so far on this power play. Now Nieto getting some power play time. First game back for him off injury. Tomas Hurdle saved by Miller. Centering pass. Wanted Shepard off his stick to the far boards. Nieto battles to keep it in, but now the Canucks will get it out. And Hansen has a breakaway out of the penalty box and scores. Well, 
that's adding insult to injury right there. Hansen gets a contact ahead penalty to Wingles, who's back in the dressing room, steps out on the ice, catches a pass, and ends up scoring to give the, and that is a beautiful pass. He ends up going top corner, right over the blocker of Staylock, and there's a look right from the penalty box. I mean, that is just perfect. He, it's perfect pass, untimely break from the Sharks standpoint. They never really carried the momentum for three, four, five minutes in a row. Hansen had a hat trick 13 games ago, and he had not scored since until that goal. The boards, Horvat can't control, and now Pavelski and Joe Thornton on a breakaway. And he's tripped. And we have another penalty shot. Yes! Been mentioned a few times on the broadcast. Already, they lead the NHL in penalty shots, and here's another one. His first of this season. Daniel banks it around for his brother. Shot and score. Radim Verbata gives the Canucks back their two-goal lead. The Sadim brothers, the twins, strike again, and it was their playmaking in the offensive zone. Setting up a perimeter shot for Verbata, and as you see, it's his 14th goal of the year. Kind of handcuffs. Stalock. Stalock's got to go all the way across, but he's set and ready. Daniel Sedin coming in from behind the net. I don't know if he tipped it. I'm not sure if he was screened, but it looked like Stalock was trying to fight off that puck. And the pace starting to pick up here. A little more emotion in this in this second period from both teams. This is Chris Higgins, and he'll test Stalock, who makes the stop. No rebound. Look at that. Certainly, anything like that is scrutinized. A wraparound try there by the Canucks. And now the pass to center for Carlson knocked away. But Goodrow has it. He'll shoot it. Saved by Miller off his glove. Out of Haley behind the net. Burns back for Haley. Haley with 10 goals in Worcester in the American League. Big hit by Desjardins as he takes out Yannick Weber. Fourth in this game. So far, unable to capitalize on the power play have been the Sharks. Pavelski for Kachur. Out of the corner, back to Pavelski, back to Thornton, over to Marlow, and saved by Miller. He was stuck on the goal line in that situation. Marlow did his job, got the one-timer, did save by Miller. Burns fakes the shot, now gets it across for Kachur as he cuts to the net, and Miller the save, and again, no rebound. We were both a little surprised to... You realize there were that many. I would not have guessed there's 13 sets of brothers where each brother has 200 goals in the NHL. That's impressive. Isaiah's going to try and put a push on to get the next goal. And without a stick, Burles can't get it out. Tennyson shot, followed, and it hits the post. Hurdle an inch away from making it 3-2. Back to Pavelski. In front, and the shot by Hurdle off a stick over the net. They don't have a whole lot of shots on goal, only 13. We'll play smart in the defensive zone. Dillon, and that got through Miller with a blocker save. Carlson to Shepard. And just a shade late reacting to that was James Shepard. He couldn't get a quality scoring chance as Hansen's checked by her. And a lot of nights, two points. Sharks are going to need at least two more here and hopefully get a fourth. Don't look, you said one at a time. Yeah, and don't look for Van to make a lot of mistakes. Staylock, a nice save off Benino. We can attest to it here in San Jose. We've seen him twice, and he's been fantastic both games. He was the first star here in November. 34 saves in that 3-2 win by Vancouver. Here's Edler and Staylock with a glove save. Eight minutes here in the third period. Sharks trying to fashion a comeback and keep their home ice winning streak going. And keep a great uh, December going. They've won 8 of 11 on the pass. Shepard can't get it to the net. Shepard steps up. Nice play there. And the Sharks get it back. Good row. Really shot. Mark Edward Blasek. His wrister tip. Bounced. 
And then Carlson knocked out in front of the net. Waiting. waiting. Close the door. Good <laughs> enough. Here come the Canucks through center. Nick Bonino. BX on. He shot it wide. Up the middle, centering pass to flex away to Burroughs. And he'll bat it away from Couture. And ahead for Dorset. Dorset shoots. Stay locked to save. Dorset had Richardson with him, and he's got it again. Dorset through the crease wide. Burns hands it off to Pavelski. Now Matt Nieto back for Matt Irwin. To the net. Miller stopped that. Will come to center ice. Under five left. One of the reasons I put patience is one of the three P's in, as far as a key standpoint is because of the way this team plays in their defensive zone. Spiza, a booming shot. Sharks try to avoid a third straight loss in the division. The teams that they're fighting for playoff spots for. Verbata, saved by Stalock. Pavelski now lined up in the faceoff circle against Henrik Sedin. Sharks have it. Marlowe at the point. The pass, the shot. What a great play as Couture directed it on net and Miller made the save. As the Sharks' eight game home ice win streak comes to an end, Ryan Miller is now 6 1 and 1. And he will probably be named the first star.